Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I got a pretty cool video for you guys. This is on managing your PC from your Android phone. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this application, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to the download page in the link below. This is to mobilepcmonitor.com forward slash downloads. And from here, you can simply download the PC Monitor agent, which is right there. Um, make sure you download either for 64-bit windows or 32-bit windows. So double check that. You can go to your properties and it will tell you right there what you need. Then you can go and click on it. It's a pretty simple uh, install file and it's a very easy program to set up. There are no advertisements so you can basically press next throughout the whole thing. Now the cool thing with this program though is you can shut off your computer, turn um, lock your computer, manage updates, see system files, what's being used. It's a very cool monitoring program. So when the service is not started, you want to click yes. You'll want to create an account. Now I already created an account um, from previously using this program, so it automatically loads my account. But what you want to do is go to the top there where it says I don't have an account. Click that and click create an account. From there, it's pretty simple. All you want to do is just type in a username, a password, confirm the password, an email, and a name. Once you have that, simply log into the account name and click validate account. Now, I did that. Now, what you want to do now is it's pretty much set up. You can go to the system and you can check out exactly what it has control of. What you can do is if you don't want it to be able to shut down your computer, you can disable that. So by default, it has everything enabled. You can go there and disable it. This is a free program. If you pay for it, you get some extra features like you can manage um, more than five computers and there are some other things you can do, but really you can do almost everything on the free version. So you can also go to the notification tab and send yourself a test notification on your Android device. Um, I already have, I'll do that later in the video, but here it's actually available features. So everything that it can do, so you can disable that or enable it um, if you like that or not. Like I said though, everything's pretty much set up uh, correctly. And what you wanna do now is go to the link below and download the Android application. So once you open it up on your Android phone, um, just simply install it. It's pretty simple to install, obviously. And we'll be using the same account that we used on our computer to sign in. Like I said before though, you can use this on multiple um, computers and devices. So what you wanna do now is click, I already have an account. And simply just log in. Once you log in, your computer will always automatically be there. It'll have the name of the computer and what um, operating system it's running. By clicking on the computer, it gives you all kinds of information. So CPU usage, available RAM, you can add notes, notifications, hardware details, and a bunch of awesome stuff. You can use this on data or Wi-Fi as long as you have an internet connection, it does work. Under the hardware details, it shows temperatures for your computer and the RPMs of the fans. So it shows temperatures for everything from the um, motherboard, CPU, and hard drives. You can also um, chat, but a lot of these, some of these features have to be pro, but you also can install updates. And as you can tell from here, system commands, you can actually shut off your computer, log off, hibernate, a lot of cool things. So what I'm gonna do now though, is I'm gonna test out the locking feature, just show you guys. So I'm just gonna press lock on my um, phone here. So I'm gonna say, are you sure? I click lock, it shows me the notification, and within a couple seconds, it automatically locks my computer. So that was using a data connection. So essentially you guys can be away from home and turn off your computer or lock your computer at your house very easily now. Now, if you're not sure what maintenance mode is, maintenance mode is a pretty simple uh, thing. You turn it on and basically it will not notify you 
on your computer. So basically, if you're doing some maintenance-like stuff, you can turn it on, and that way the phone or Android device has no control over the computer. So you turn it on, and then you can do whatever you need to do, and then you turn back off again. It'll also notify you when cool and different things. You can set it to notify you when the computer turns off or when it turns on. So let's say you're going away for on vacation. You can set it like that. Basically, if the computer turns on while you're gone, it's going to notify you. So then you know something's up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set myself a test notification. And um, as you see the top there, after updating Google Apps goes away, um, on the left hand side, the PC monitor update is right there. So PC monitor, this is a test notification. So that's what the notification looks like. Um, and there you go. So thanks guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. And of course, guys, thanks for watching. This is the Hacker Triple 07, and I'm signing off.